So I will do my very best to comment <coughs> the slides. I know the subject, but uh, I don't know his presentation very well because I, I didn't have any chance to look at it. I just uh, forwarded it to Moscow. So if you put down, please, then I will I will try to, to give some comments, okay? Okay, let's start. So then you see all two files or or credentials and uh, he, he is he is working in this but he is uh, involved in other projects also so the counter intracellular device uh, fed or failure okay future so next please wow i cannot see it this is very small um Probably because it is a it is a slide with very small letters. I cannot see it because I I don't have the big screen. Uh, I don't know how to make it bigger. Uh, let's try. I push. Okay. So this is I I tell you just freely that uh, this is a device that uh, you you uh, deliver to an old. 21 microcatheter nowadays up to the sizes of uh, 11 millimeter and above and the 14 uh, is delivered on a uh, 27 microcatheter. Uh, it is to treat wide neck aneurysms uh, uh, at, often at the bifurcation. It will give uh, for disruption in, in the uh, aneurysm sac there is no uh, material in the parent vessel like with, with uh, flow diverters. And uh, this is a very easy technology for every operator. So go to the next, please. Here you see a big MC aneurysm, probably several ones. This will demonstrate that you can treat more aneurysms, uh, medium size and large ones also. Currently, the largest device is 14 millimeter, which means that we can treat aneurysms that uh, around uh, 11, 11.5 millimeter in diameter, because the device has to be enough friction to be stable at the neck. So go to the next one. You see here how you uh, access the aneurysm and how you deploy the device. And you see also other, other uh, competing uh, uh, devices like the Piconus, uh, the web, different versions of the web. And this is, this is also, I think, uh, the old Luna device to the right and uh, uh, flow diverters, these are the ones that, that uh, Contour has to compete with, with the con conquering um, devices. So go to the next one. So he is, uh, he did talk about uh, devices and tips and tricks, problems, evidence and web versus Contour. Okay, next one. So the contour is consists of 144 wires. This is a very, very dense uh, nitrogen mesh, and it is placed at the neck of the aneurysm. And then you see that the sizing up to 11 is 0.21, and uh, the 14 is 0.27 microcatheter. You see how it should be positioned at the neck and it will, it will disrupt the flow into the stack. Next slide. You see the detachment zone where it is all the, also called assembly point when all the wires uh, are connected to each other. And uh, this is the one that is, that is very uh, well seen on the fluoroscopy. Also, you see the device on fluoroscopy. You see the upper left portion is the nitinol mesh, which is visible, but uh, the best visible part of the device is the detachment point. So next one. Uh, again, can you make it a little bigger for me? Read the letters. 
Okay, we just jump over this because I, I don't want to lie anything. Uh, just just go to the next one. Ah, uh, this these are the size thing. Uh, I told you that we have to, to pick a bigger size uh, compared to the largest diameter of the aneurysm. And then you can see it much better than I do. This is up to the 11 millimeter, each, which can treat up to 8.5 millimeter. This is the equatorial plane. So this is the, the, the valid system. And uh, uh, it will get up to here and come down to the neck and open the neck with this portion. This is at that portion, at the central portion, the dense is very, uh, the, the mesh is very, very dense. So it is a much stronger flow diverter than all the other flow diverters on the market because it consists of many more wires. Go to the next one. I think this will be a video demonstration how you deploy the uh, device inside the aneurysm. Just run the video, please. And then we will, okay. So it is done, then we pull back to the neck. Also, we, we pull back the microcatheter so that it makes uh, the detachment easier. And uh, I cannot see if the video is, is it done? If it is, then we, we, we go to the next slide, please. And then, then you see, then you see the green dye it will not enter the aneurysm uh, as quickly as before the placement of the device and it will it will stay inside the uh, the stack it demonstrates the flow diverter effect of the device very nicely so go to the next slide this is i think a web device to the right that is uh, inside the aneurysm, as far as I can see. And the contour to the left uh, is just at the lower portion of the aneurysm. So it will demonstrate that the contour does not interfere with the distal portion of the aneurysm. So it is not like here, you see, this is the dangerous part of the aneurysm. It can happen that this part of the web device can uh, cause a rupture of the stack, while the contour is not uh, interfering with this part, it is just in the proximal portion of the aneurysm. Okay, next slide. This is the sizing. The sizing, as, as we told you, it's not difficult because this only thing is that this, uh, the biggest uh, diameter of the uh, uh, the aneurysm in the uh, transfer plane, plane that is the uh, important thing. Okay, go to the next slide. So indications, all the bifurcation aneurysm, wide neck, uh, usually a PCOM and PICA aneurysms, also recurrent aneurysm that after failed uh, endovascular treatment, I mostly use in elective cases. It's possible to do in acute cases also, but we have to have some special uh, considerations for the uh, platelet uh, inhibition. Okay, next slide, please. So this is the case. It's an ICA termination aneurysm. Uh, treatment date was um, 1st February 2017. And this was a seven millimeter contour device. So go to the next slide, please. You see the aneurysm. You see it's not a big one. Uh, the, the advantage of the contour device is that we can treat this aneurysm very safely without going close to the uh, that part of the aneurysm that is prone to rupture. Go to the next slide, please. This is during the embolization. You see that it is very uh, quick uh, um, thrombosing of the stack. There is only a small remnant here and a couple of minutes later, it's even smaller. So next slide, please. Six months follow-up, complete obliteration of the aneurysm. 
you see probably in uh, uh, the native image, the device itself and the contrast and that there is no inflow in the energy. So it's an excellent result after six months. Next slide, please. Per month follow up, same uh, good result. Next slide. Two year follow up, very durable, good result. Next slide, please. Four year follow up, just MRI. This is also a good result, confirming uh, the uh, validity of the device. Next slide. So the last one, the, the, the last uh, uh, meter, and this is a big step forward because then we can, we can treat bigger aneurysms and the company is working on the two uh, other sizes up to 18 and 22 millimeter. With these two devices, uh, this device will be uh, very, very uh, 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 good to treat even big aneurysms. You see the small the size sizing in the um, on the slide. I don't see that, so I don't want to comment anything. But okay, go to the next slide, please. Next slide. It's a big aneurysm. This would not be possible to treat with the 11 because it would not be stable. So go to next slide, please. Different, different aspects of the aneurysm. You see it's a, it's a right MCA bifurcation aneurysm. Next slide. The angiographic image. Uh, go to the next slide. Is it a video on this program? If it is, please do it. Yes. Now you, you come to the aneurysm, you see the aneurysm very well, and there was no inflow in the in the stack. You could see the device that disrupted the flow in the in the right M MCA bifurcation. Is the other slide is also a video? If it is, please run the other side. Okay, wonderful. This is probably the front of the same video. So look at the right MCA bifurcation to see the device and probably you can stop and you come to the point to, to, to. Here is the device, stop, stop, stop. Okay, no, no, now you could see it oh, anyhow. So this is very, very nice position of the device inside the stack and it closes up the aneurysm. I don't know if it is a follow-up or it is the same, same day. I guess it's the same day or in the next day after the present, after the treatment, I don't know. So next slide, please. Okay, sizing is easy. It is much easier than for the web, but it's very important that we don't pick small size. So next slide. Uh, okay, next. It's also right MC aneurysm as far as I can see. And you see the sizing on the, uh, on the image. I don't see it. Go to the next slide, please. This is the angiographic image. Again, next slide. These are three images. I don't see anything uh, correctly, but I think that this is the, during the treatment. Uh, first, they tried with a nine millimeter, which I think was too small. So go to the next one. Is it possible that any of these images are videos? I don't know, I cannot tell. No, no, okay. So this is again 
uh, a new size. I think this is now the 11 millimeter device. It is open now. Okay, go to the next one. Yes. So the the uh, occlusion after aneurysm is usually taking place during a certain time. I have my own personal experience when I got a complete occlusion of the whole aneurysm in 10 minutes on the table bef before uh, I detach the device. So it may happen quickly, but it's not always the case. Okay, next slide. <clears throat> it's a big MCA aneurysm. Uh, as far as I see on the last image to the right, there is some stagnation in the sac. Go to the next slide. I think the right size is already uh, 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 getting occluded. And I think there is a smaller aneurysm on the left side, which also looks uh, well occluded. I cannot see exactly what device it is because my image is much smaller, but uh, maybe maybe one of the devices is uh, is not a contour. I cannot, cannot see. Uh, okay, next slide. This is the six months follow up. Go to the next slide. Well, it's 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 an image of the uh, I think this is subclavian artery. I cannot comment this slide at all. Go to the next one. Well, this is a twelve months follow up. I can see it. But I cannot. I, I see the uh, the aneurysm is not there anymore, so it's not not filling, which is also a good result. It was a very big one. We still see the uh, the vessels uh, dislocated by the the aneurysm, but the, the aneurysm is not filling. Okay, next slide. Okay, I think if it's a video, please run it. No, it's not. Okay, then then okay. So it's an 18 months follow up. Again, still complete occlusion of the aneurysm. It's it's very very nice that he has these cases because then we can we can see that the results, the long term results are excellent. Okay, next one. So I think this will show some difficult cases that he picked to treat. Go to next slide, please. It's a big partially thrombosed aneurysm. Uh, I'm not sure. It looks like it's a basilary bifurcation, basilary tip aneurysm. Go to the next one, please. Yes, it is. You see just a small part of the aneurysm filling with contrast, and you can imagine that it's very big because we saw on the CT. Next slide, please. Going up with the catheter in the sac. Next slide, please. It's a magnified image of the sac and with some contrast. And I think I can see the device also at the neck. Go to the next slide. It seems that this is a combined treatment with the uh, with the contour device and the coils behind, because this was a big partially thrombosed aneurysm, the contour may not work on its own. So next slide. It seems that it is after the treatment follow up. Oh, go to the next slide. It's a PCOM aneurysm close to the <coughs> ophthalmic region. Next slide. The device is inside. Uh, okay, next slide. This is a working projection. You see on the last image, 
uh, last two images is stagnation uh, of the contrast of the dye in the aneurysm after placement of the device. Next slide. Okay, so this is a comparison of the web versus contour. I will try to do my very best. So sizing, uh, no, this is the results. Uh, this is the compared the, the results with adequate occlusion of the uh, all aneurysms and uh, comparing the surgical and endovascular results. And the surgical results are better. Uh, and this is, this is the reason why we still have to develop better and better devices on the endovascular side to, to get uh, the same good results as the surgeons do. But surgery is more invasive, of course. Next slide. This is a just an image to show that the, the two uh, devices don't need to hit each other, don't need to fight with each other, but they have to compete. Okay, next slide. Oh, this is a video, yes. Wow, playing golf. So run this video also, if it is like that, if it's a video run, yeah, yeah, okay. So it demonstrates that these two devices can can uh, coexist, can work uh, side by side. And uh, what, we, what we fight against is the stent or, or the surgery. So you see here the web devices, the sizing. Uh, they developed also very small sizes for small uh, aneurysms that goes to a 17 microcatheter. Go to the next one. Uh, the, the aneurysms that can be treated are quite similar. This is a wide neck carotid bifurcation aneurysm. Go to the next slide. This shows the, the results of the different studies. Uh, and I don't want to, to bore you with this uh, because I'm not, I'm not familiar with all these results, but uh, what we have to think about is real life. And the real life is often not exactly the same as these studies because the studies were done with uh, very experienced users. Okay, go to the next slide. It's the same study. I'm he I'm happy you can appreciate these results because you are you are you see the large picture. I just see a very small image. I cannot comment this. Next slide. Showing if the web is efficient in acute cases, and I know I've heard this that it it is, but the problem is that maybe the uh, the durability of the good results are not very good because many times they are reported um, um, remnants after the treatment in the long-term follow-up. Go to the next slide. It's a ruptured case. It's a small uh, MCN aneurysm. You see the, the uh, bleeding in the, uh, on the CT in the right cilium fissure. The aneurysm is wide-necked. Go to the next one. Angiographic image, I think the device is already in place. Next, next slide. Yes, the device is in place, it's an MR follow-up. The aneurysm is occluded, no flow inside. Next slide. So the question is if the web is a perfect intrasecular device. Uh, there are pros and contras. It is safe, it is visible, easy to deploy, uh, don't need long, doesn't need long-term antiplatelets uh, and low complications read. But it is not very easy to size it. And Tufai told me that even he is a very experienced user, he sometimes makes mistakes. Uh, so the uh, occlusion rate is still not as good as with stent in the long term, and it depends on uh, operator experience and also recurrence rate. This is what I told you just before, that the, in the real life, the recurrence rate is higher than the trial results. 
Next slide. Again, a case. It's an ugly looking basilar tip and aerosol with with wide neck and also the uh, the size of the aneurysm we speak. Next slide, please. The web occludes the aneurysm except the minimal small uh, neck remnant. Uh, now I'm not sure if there is any inflow at the, the aneurysm here. Go to the next slide, please. This is the MR follow-up. As far as I can see, no flow in the aneurysm. Go to the next slide. After four years, the small minimal remnant that I could I could uh, see in the first image got bigger. So it means that the, the, the long-term results are not as good as in the studies, but it is also four year follow-up. So it is longer time than the, the studies. The studies usually go to one year just. Next slide. This is a small web called Web17. It means that it goes through the smallest uh, microcatheter that we use for cord delivery. It's an ACOM aneurysm. I guess it's a ruptured one. I don't know. So go to the next slide. Very good stagnation uh, after placement of the device. Uh, all the contrast is washed out from the rest of the vasculature, but it's the aneurysm is still stagnation. So go to the next one. Okay, next one. If I see right, I think the device is moved inside. It was compressed inside inside the aneurysm. And what I see here is that probably it was retreated with coils. Okay, next slide. So this is two five uh, indications for for a web. He has used it since twelve. It is ten years experienced. He has experience of 200 cases, which is a really uh, a large number. And he still thinks that the sizing can be complicated. Uh, via catheter can be a little bit difficult to navigate because it's a stiffer uh, catheter than the other ones. Recurrence rates uh, may vary from center to center, but it, it can be higher than the trial results, okay? So uh, the indications for wide neck aneurysms, uh, unruptured aneurysm recurrences, also for ruptured aneurysms. Next slide. This is this is also a very important slide. Well, not to use web if it is a partially thrombosed aneurysm because the thrombus can shrink and. Uh, the sizing cannot be appropriate uh, because we don't see the wall of the aneurysm. When the rupture point is at the neck, it is also impossible to cover the rupture point with the device. It costs a lot of money and his suggestion is to avoid a jumpy device if possible. Next slide. These, these are nice cases that he will show some four years follow up with the contour uh, device. Next slide. Five patients had follow up up to four years. Six patients for three years and nine patients for two and half, for two years. Nine patients for one year and 11. So this uh, all together it's, it's uh, 31 patients with follow-up up to five years, but the missed, uh, the rest is just uh, six months. Okay, next slide. Here you can see the results. You can see the aneurysm next and uh, what's the sizes of the aneurysm. This is the, this is the one that is most important for the sizing. 
uh, the height of the aneurysm is not so important because we don't deal with the whole aneurysm. We just need to deal with the proximal part of that. Okay, next slide. So it's a, it's a rather uh, crowded sli uh, slide. I think you can see the uh, follow-up results up to four years and you see the occlusion rate. I cannot see all the small, small details. So we jump to the next slide. This is a more easier slide. The yeah. most important thing is that the four years follow up, uh, uh, three patients, there is no residual aneurysm, which is very, very good. So it means that the, the, the results are getting better with, with, the, with the longer term follow up, which is very good. Next slide. Okay, this is a serious study that I also participated with one center in Denmark um, and four centers in, in, uh, in uh, Germany and one in Austria. Um, I think you see the numbers of the patients, 34 patients. Uh, of them, 32 treated with contour. And we have, we have a very careful follow-up on these patients and we uh, all uh, um, we have all the data. Next slide. This shows the uh, follow-up results up to 12 months. What we can see is the occlusion rate, which is good uh, and it's 22 patients of 30 had 73% occlusion. This study was performed during the uh, pandemic, so it was very difficult to obtain these uh, follow-up angiograms. I know by own experience that it was really hard work to get the patients in. Next slide. Again, what I pointed out that the, the results uh, are progressing to complete uh, occlusion between six and 12 months. This is very important because it shows that the device works and the device will work, especially after the uh, platelet inhibition is withdrawn. Because usually we use platelet inhibition in the beginning, it's double anti-platelet regime, and then we continue with aspirin and then we withdraw. And then after that, the, the aneurysm is progressing to complete occlusion. Next slide. This is the one. Okay. So, so what's the difference between the two devices? You see, this is a nice that we deal with the contour with these two measures, the diameter and the neck diameter, why the, uh, why the, uh, the VEP deals with the volume, so it has to fill the whole aneurysm. Next slide. Oh, so go back, go back. I just wanted to, not that, the next one. This, yeah. I just wanted to tell you that in such an aneurysm, this one, you don't, it's difficult to do, to do with web because the web uh, has to change the shape of the aneurysm. While with the contour, it, you just deal with the proximal portion of the aneurysm. If you can get a stable position here and close the neck, it will if occlude the aneurysm. So next one, this was, I think, next slide. This is just a, a, a movie picture. Okay, what to choose? Okay, next slide. This is the contour. This is the web. This is the, the, the shape of the proximal part of the device, which is the whole contour, while the neck is continuing up to the distal portion of the aneurysm. Okay, next, next one. Yes, next. Case, next with web, okay. 
placing the web, you see the distal marker of the web, you see the stagnation in the sack, also here the web is inside. Next one. So the web occluded the aneurysm. Okay, good. Next slide. Now it will show the contour. Next, next slide. How it fits in the neck. Okay, next one. It does not, it does not interfere with the clot contraction in the aneurysm. So this is the advantage. Why you, the contour can be compressed uh, no, no, the, the web can be compressed. The contour will stay at the neck because it does not interfere with the cot uh, contraction. Next slide. Here the device is in the sack. Uh, this is the aneurysm uh, with, with uh, full filling of the full aneurysm. Here is the much smaller part of the aneurysm, and here is the uh, a CT angiographic image or, or um, dynasty image of the device and the vessels around. So next slide. This means that the contour can place in irregularly shaped aneurysms like this one. If you get enough uh, uh, friction stability at the neck, we don't need to deal with this part of the aneurysm. It will, it will uh, thrombose all. Next one. If the degree, the degree of the aneurysm is not as a continuation of the parent artery, it still can be occluded with, with contour, because contour will be deployed here and slowly pull down. And when it comes to the optimal position, then we detach there. And if there is stability, it will, it will uh, work and occlude the aneurysm. Next one. Uh, this is a small aneurysm that needs, uh, the delivery needs to be done with the, uh, with the microcatheter that can make this curve. And uh, okay, next one. Uh, the web would need an O27 microcatheter. If you put a smaller web through the VIA 17, it may work. Okay, next one. It's the contour seven millimeter, but at that time it was necessary to, to place it through the seven, uh, 27 microcatheter. Nowadays, uh, these devices up to 11 millimeter are placed through uh, 021 microcatheter. But since the uh, parent artery is big, then the 27 was not a problem. And you see the device here and you see the occlusion of the aneurysm. Next one. What we see here is the difference between the web and contour. The contour is, can be developed from the uh, uh, proximal part of the aneurysm. With the microcatheter, you don't need to get inside deeply. While with the web, you have to go inside. And this is a dangerous, potentially dangerous procedure because the tip of the web can, can uh, rupture the aneurysm. Go to the next slide. If the access is very difficult, the via catheter may be, may be too stiff. It uh, cannot get uh, to the aneurysm. So in that case, we can use a softer microcatheter. Next slide. Good. Yes. Uh, it's a little bit longer than uh, we expected, maybe. Okay, so please. It's my fault because I, I didn't see the whole uh, images. I tried to do my very best. We, we stop here. I think we are not very far from the from the conclusion. So, so thank you very much. This was an emergency situation since we couldn't give this presentation. 
I, I try to do my very best, but uh, obviously it's not the same as if he would do it on his we, own. We can see the conclusions, yes. Yes, please. Можно будет заключение показать с последнего слайда. Ага, побыстрее можно пролистнуть. Дальше, 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 дальше. Дальше, дальше. О, окей. That's beautiful. The, the, the ladies are beautiful, yes? Yes. <laughs> so please just get on the conclusion and then we, we finish. Summary, okay. Again, you see it much better than I. And uh, thank you very much for your patience. And I apologize for not being uh, perfect uh, in this uh, presentation because I didn't have any chance to, to review it before. Thank you. Thank you, Gula.